Today we are travelling to the east of Prague to a place called Kutna Hora. Have you guys ever heard of using prime lenses is superior than using zoom lenses? Or perhaps it's the other way around. I've heard that a lot, but is it true? Mistake? Okay. Uh, where do you go? Uh, Kuna Hora. Yes, it's, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me show you Vijayana. Kiro Diona. Did you find place? Uh, no. <laughs> no. It's okay, no worries. I've used both primes and zooms in all of my assignments. Depending on the scenario given, if my mobility is an issue, which means I don't get to move around a lot, but my subject is keep moving, you know, maybe they're far away or close up, I can't move around, that's where zoom lenses come into play. But if mobility for me is not an issue, um, and my subject is, uh, is staying still, then I'll be using prime lenses to shoot in scenarios like that. So now we are heading to the Sedlec Ossuary. Apparently this church is decorated with human bones and we are not allowed to film inside. So I'll see you guys in a short while. no such thing as prime being more superior or the zoom lenses being more superior than its counterpart. I mean, it's just how you use those lenses in certain situations. Prime has the advantage of being really, really good in low light and also to create amazing bokeh. Um, if you're talking about uh, shooting portraits, it creates amazing bokeh. While zooms, well, it gives you the advantage of in situations where mobility is an issue. Oh gosh, I just found someone left their iPhone on the bench here. I think I should pass it to the info center or law center. Oh man. Hey, you don't have an iPhone, what's your name? What what tomorrow? Chiro, you see, stop angry. What is going on? Today, here, here, Bin. To see you, okay, yeah, no. See, no. This is Banglo Sen Fan, right? Do not hang, yeah. Do I show you the guy? He is not good. This is Banglo Sen Fan. I am not good. I am not good. Hello. Hi. Do you know where the Banglo Sen Fan is? I found the phone on the bench. It's not mine. Okay, so you can keep it here. You can keep it here. Yeah. Okay. I I I found it. The bench in the middle. Okay. Thank you. This church looks like Notre Dame in Paris. Okay. 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 So we have to climb many more steps. Um, according to my inexperienced graph calculation, about four stories high. <laughs> Let's do it. I, 
I always love to use primes, especially when I'm doing um, close-up portraits for my couple, where I want to isolate the expression. That's when the background doesn't matter, and that's where prime lenses comes into play in my shots. are situations like I mentioned earlier where my mobility is an issue or at a time where I would like to really compress the perspective especially when using lenses like the 70 200s and when zoom at 200 millimeters I could really compress the background and my subject together Time to grab some lunch. Yes, thank you. Uh, just now, I got people ask me, uh, your YouTube channel is what? Uh, I got follower already, uh, finally. <laughs> Town. Going back to Prague. So if the next time you hear people telling you that zooms are better than primes or primes are better than zooms, each lens are built for their own purpose and we as professional wedding photographer should use them in different situations to our advantage. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I've heard a lot of stories of uh, photographers getting their equipment stolen. I felt that Prague is um, safe. Hence the reason why we have to shoot really early in the morning. Mm.